What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. So you may remember very recently we actually published a detailed review of the Acer Aspire 5 going through the good, bad and the ugly. If you are interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description below. Of course, it's become somewhat of a tradition on this channel to usually do a post-review gaming test to see how this laptop will perform under high-resource gaming activities and give you guys an idea if it might be good for the occasional gaming as well. For this configuration of the Acer Aspire 5, we are using Intel's latest 11th generation Core i5 processor, 8GB of speedy DDR4 RAM, Intel's Iris Xe integrated graphics chipset, of course a 500 GB sausage drive and it's worth noting that the native resolution here is 1080p on a 15 inch screen. So keeping all those factors in mind, again remember this is not a gaming laptop or gaming machine in general. So if you're buying this laptop with gaming as your primary purpose, you may want to reconsider and get a gaming laptop instead. But we're gonna see how this laptop holds up with relatively recent titles. I apologize if the title you want to see is not here. It's difficult to procure every single title and predict what everyone wants to see. So I kind of took some popular ones, put them together to see what kind of performance you can expect from any particular title in general. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button and consider liking this video. It helps me grow and provide more awesome quality tech content for you guys. Without further ado, let's get started.
still here? Happy to see that. So let's do a quick post analysis. So as you saw that this laptop can definitely run a number of games. However, the performance often was less than adequate for an enjoyable gaming experience. While I wouldn't say it's impossible to game on the Acer Aspire 5 with its given configuration, I definitely say it's a less than pleasurable experience. There are a few factors contributing to this. Some of you might be saying, wait a minute, I have a laptop with a similar configuration with an i5 or Iris XC or 8 gigabytes of RAM and it definitely does better than what I'm seeing here. And there are two big reasons you're getting better performance. First and foremost, the Acer Aspire 5 has relatively poor thermal management, especially when compared to some of its peers in the mid-range market. So you'll find that the fan on the Aspire 5 is almost always going on anytime you do anything more than opening a Word document. I find that there's not enough heat dissipation, at least not fast enough, for the laptop to stay relatively cool, which of course results in thermal throttling. And almost every game I played suffered from thermal throttling eventually. This could be anywhere right away or after a couple of minutes of playing or after several minutes of playing. So keep that in mind and because you get drop frame rates, it becomes not so fun to play on the laptop for prolonged period of time aside from being sometimes borderline uncomfortably hot. The second factor is that you only have eight gigabytes of RAM on board, which means that often a lot of these more demanding games kind of hit a bottleneck because the CPU might be doing fine, but the RAM is bottlenecking. And I would highly advise if you can afford a 16 gigabyte configuration of the Acer Aspire 5, you may want to do that as you'll probably get better frame rates in general. However, all in all, I don't think the Acer Aspire 5 is a fantastic machine for casual gaming. I think there are better laptops in the mid-range market that have the exact same configuration. They're just designed better as far as heat management goes, so they fare better in general performance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do hope at the very least you got an idea of what kind of a gaming experience you can expect with this laptop. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, consider subscribing to my channel. It truly means a lot to me and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Soul of Tech, logging out.